Tokyo Electric Power Company officials are again defending how they handled last year's crisis at Fukushima Daiichi. TEPCO released a video showing back and forth conversations between workers at the nuclear plant and personnel at headquarters following the March 11th accident. At one point, top executives get up and leave their posts. NHK World's Minako Misawa tells us what happened. The video takes us inside the unfolding crisis at Fukushima Daiichi. A buildup of hydrogen caused the explosion on March 14, 2011. The blast shook the nuclear facility. Soon after, then-plant manager Masao Yoshida gave Tokyo headquarters an update. The dramatic exchange is part of 150 hours of video from the five days starting from March 11th that TEPCO officials agreed to show the media. They also released an edited 90-minute version. They say they blurred the faces of some workers for privacy reasons. People living in Fukushima Prefecture are critical. This is no disclosure. We can't verify what's true. There is no meaning in releasing this video after a year and a half. The images are also processed. What is TEPCO thinking? There will also likely be questions about what TEPCO officials were thinking at the height of the crisis. Key scenes in the 150 hours of video show how they handled the accident. One focuses on the Utilities Task Force late on March 12, 2011. TEPCO will only allow journalists to watch the images, not make audio or video copies. NHK's reporting team heard an executive say dismissed. Then they saw the president and most executives leave the room. TEPCO officials say their engineers stayed to deal with the situation. But the video shows almost all of the company's top officials temporarily leaving the task force room while the emergency unfolded. NHK and other media are asking TEPCO to release all of the videos it has pertaining to the Fukushima Daiichi accident. Company representatives have so far refused. One executive at a Japanese NGO believes that's unacceptable. He says this is a historical record and should be made public even if access is limited. Minako Misawa, NHK World, Tokyo. Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda's plan to raise Japan's consumption tax has put him on a collision course with the opposition. He's facing two challenges that could either trigger a general election or kill his financial reform package. The first is happening in the lower house of the Diet. Six minor political parties have submitted a no-confidence motion against the Prime Minister. If Noda's ruling Democratic Party can't defeat the motion in a vote, he'll have to call an election. The second challenge is happening in the opposition-controlled upper house. That's where the tax bill and related legislation are waiting to be passed. Minor opposition parties have submitted a censure motion against Noda. Members of the main opposition Liberal Democratic Party say they'll only vote against the motion if the Prime Minister promises to dissolve the lower house soon and call a general election. That's really the only way Noda can save his financial reform package, which would raise the consumption tax from 5 to 10 percent by 2015. He technically doesn't have to call an election until next summer, but he might be forced to do that sooner.